Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're tuning in with Cindy and John today. And today we are going to be talking about our proposal story. So John's going to be talking a little bit more because obviously I don't know all the details that went into it, but John did a very amazing job. And I think it's really juicy how he figured it out and kind of did the whole thing. So I think we can go into more detail today about that and give you guys a little bit of information about how we got engaged. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it. And yeah, let's jump right in. So basically I'm going to tell them the story and you're going to sit here. Well, I'm not going to sit here. I'm going to tell them kind of how I was feeling during the process. Because shocked. I was shocked. So shocked. I was shocked, but I also was... I had, I had an idea what was coming, I just didn't know exactly when, and he did a really good job of like surprising me with that, so well, I think that was, that was good. That was my job, I was supposed to surprise you. Yeah, so. I did it. He did it. So it started, when did it begin? I think my parents maybe? The, the beginning of it would be the uh, the intentions conversation, mm -hmm. which with very uh, traditional Nigerian parents, you don't, you don't have a conversation with just dad, you have a conversation with dad and mom. And we were going out to a Chinese buffet that they love. And Cindy said she would lead me in, you know, kind of start the conversation and then let me say whatever I needed to say. So we were talking about the food and how tasty it was. And Cindy was like, so anyway, um, John and I have been seeing each other. Anything you'd like to add, John? Um, no, that, that's exactly how it happened. That's exactly how it went down. You, you know, just shoved me into the deep we end. We all knew while we were sitting, while we were there, they wanted mm -hmm. you to know him a little bit more, and we were, you know, just talking a little bit about stuff. You so. threw me into traffic. That's what happened. <laughs> I introduced the beginning of it. That's not how you introduce topic. <laughs> that's not how, you, not how you get in the on-ramp for, uh, not at all. It worked, though. Yeah, I was just looking at you like, really? <laughs> You're just gonna throw, okay, that's so I'm gonna start talking now. <laughs> So for the conversation with her parents to ask for their blessing, I waited until she left the country because she definitely wasn't going to add anything to the conversation. She would have been like, so anyway. No, I wouldn't have. But you know, what do you want to say, John? <laughs> well, yeah, no. But he did tell me about it because he knew that I would find out probably about the whole conversation anyways. Oh, yeah, your mom was going to tell you anyway. My mom told me. So I knew that they were going to have the conversation. So mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. had that. That's as soon as I got off the phone with her, right? <laughs> she did. <laughs> but he did a great job because he brought some jollof rice, which is a Nigerian dish. Mm -hmm. Cooked it himself. Very proud of you. I did do that. Thank you. Thank and you. Uh, what else did you make them? Masaman curry. Oh, yeah. Masaman curry, which with is crushed good. peanuts. Yeah, my dad loved that part. Mm -hmm. So. And I brought mixed nuts. Yeah, he pretty much won as soon as he walked in the door with that. Yeah, I brought, I brought food. If you're going to ask for a whole person, you should at least show up with some food. Yeah, something. And so then they had the conversation like, you know, when when does the engagement happen? I was like, well, I gotta sort out the ring situation first. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to talk to you guys before I went and got a ring. So then I got busy on the the ring situation, which of course I wasn't gonna, you know, buy anything off the shelf. <laughs> so I had to have He's it. so detail oriented. Mm -hmm. Like he designed this thing very, very well. That's a, probably another video in its own self. <laughs> it's probably another video in its own self. So I had to find the diamond, had to talk to the jeweler, get it uh, designed up, and then scheduled to get built, and all that. And that, of course, took longer than I was hoping. And so as we were getting close to it being done, I started scheduling like weekend events where mm -hmm. we'd go, you know, do something here or there. And I basically just accidentally, um, it wasn't really my plan, but basically just kept pump faking you. He did. Like, so you'd be like, I'm getting it now? <laughs> it didn't happen. We would be like going to, we went to, I don't know, somewhere. All in of Detroit. the nice places. Yeah, I went to a really nice, of. like, water place. And I was like, oh, maybe he's not. Nah, maybe, okay. Maybe. And then next Went weekend, to Canada. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. He's got no. Nope. Okay. But no, I, every weekend it was, okay, cool, cool, cool. And, and every time I set up the tripod, like, oh yeah, let's take some pictures. My plan was, if I had the ring, then I would set up the tripod and start doing video, <laughs> and I would, you know, be able to videotape the engagement all by myself. Which would have been dope too. But you're, which I like, I liked how you did. Would have been, which would have been smooth. Mm -hmm. And then it was getting real close, and I'm thinking, you know, it could be next week that I could actually get this, and that's when you were asked to MC Friday Night 16, right? Mm -hmm. So the place that we met uh, asked me again to just be the person who MCs the night, and so I was telling John about it, and I was like, hey, they asked me to do this, you know, thing again, and he was just like, yeah, that's a good idea. I wonder if I can do it with you. 
And I was like, like we should do it together. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, let me let me figure this out. And um, pretty much he ended up doing it with me. So that that worked out pretty well. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> That worked out well, and I found out that I was most likely going to get the ring that day. And so, like a week ahead of time, I was like, I think I'm going to wear a suit to the Z916 thing <laughs> to MC it. And Cindy was like, Nah, you're tripping. <laughs> you don't need to wear a suit. Yeah, to be honest, you don't. You nobody wears suits to Z916s like that. So I was just like, You don't need to do all that. And he's just like, But no, yeah, no, that's how you MC. <laughs> Your engagement. Come on, girl, I get the hit. No idea. She's like, nah, I just wear whatever. Mm -mm, I wouldn't have guessed that. I was like, I'm just gonna come look at normal. <laughs> yep. And I knew that then she was gonna get frustrated that she was looking all normal on her engagement video. <laughs> so I had to uh, take her sister into my confidence. He did. And so uh, I let her know. I don't know for sure whether or not I'm gonna have the ring. I'm not gonna find out until day of. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> But I need your help to make sure that Cindy dresses up. But she did a really good job of because, I mean, she didn't tell anybody. She clearly didn't tell me. No. Nope. I know what's going on. She came over to my house that day. You're not suspicious at all. And I was just like, wait, girl. And she's like, you know, helping me get all cute. She's like, yeah, you should wear that. Oh, you should make your makeup up like that. I'm just like, it, it's an MC job, but okay, cool. Like, <laughs> I mean, I was okay, going to whatever. Nice, but she was just, you know, pretending and making, like, let me see your hands, your fingernails, they look nice. And I'm like, why should I look at my fingernails? And mind you, I still wasn't like, nothing. No like, idea. No, it was not. Clueless. Really clueless. Yeah. <laughs> so. So I did find out I was going to get the ring. Of course, her sister texted me and was like, uh, are you sure you're getting the ring? Because if you're not, I don't know if I'm going to come to this thing tonight. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know if I want to take the time. And I like I just found out for sure I'm picking up, I'm going to pick up the ring right now. She's like, okay, I'm coming. And so when I got the ring, it was like an hour until I had to head out mm -hmm. because I had to drive all the way out to where I 916 was. And so if I'd gotten it like an hour later, it wouldn't have worked. And it was pretty much the last kind of time frame that I could get it. So, you know. Feel like I should have been horribly stressed out, but I pretty much was just praying about it. And I said, you know, God, if I'm supposed to do this today, I'm gonna need a ring. So uh, if you hook me up, then I'll go through and and I'll make this happen. He hooked you up. Mm-hmm. He got the ring. But here's the problem with this plan. I'm doing it while I'm emceeing it. I'm saying it in front of a bunch of people, right? Which, if you ask someone to marry you and she says yes, that's great. You win. She's got a ring, right? And if you ask a person, she says yes in front of a bunch of other people, <laughs> it's great. She says yes, she's got a ring, right? So there's like, there's no like benefit. There's no like upside to it. On the other hand, if she says no and you're alone, it's like, okay, well, this is awkward. Uh, I gotta leave <laughs> forever. Well, that's why I recommend, you know, if you're in a relationship and you guys are kind of discerning marriage together, just, just talk about it beforehand so you guys are both, both on the same page. So. You need to know how she's gonna respond under stress. I guess. Is that really because stressful? If a bunch of, in front of a bunch of people. I love it. I mean, I'm a competitor. <laughs> I do that normally. <laughs> We're gonna talk about how you reacted <laughs> in front of everybody in just a second. We're getting there. <laughs> Did finally get the ring. Got there. I got there early because I needed to uh, talk to the folks there and make sure that they're actually cool with me doing this. But I couldn't talk to the girl that was really close with Cindy because I was afraid she might give it away. Not that she would actually say something, <laughs> but you never know. She might have just been like overly excited and Cindy might have gotten a clue. But of course she didn't get the clue when her sister showed up at her house and dressed her. So yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't think anything would have gotten through. I didn't, yeah. So I talked to Pete and he got super excited about it, which was fun. And he kept hitting me, which was not fun. <laughs> like. Yeah, man, I'm so excited! Punch me in the shoulder, and I'm like, <laughs> He's the right, guy who's in to. charge of I-916, so mm -hmm. John had to work some stuff out, so they we knew. We need to end this conversation. So yeah, well, you, could, you can't just hijack somebody's event for your own purposes without, like, talking about it. <laughs> so we talked about it, he was excited about it, and the plan was, at the end, after we finished all the MC duties and whatever, I'd take, the, take it off script. And so I told Cindy that Pete asked us to do like a little testimonial where we would in suggest that people invite their friends uh, because I was invited by some people, she was invited as well. Mm -hmm. uh, or we were invited by people, oh, I shouldn't people. say other people, mm -hmm. obviously not ourselves because you can't invite yourself to a thing. <laughs> 
Anyhow, so, and that you should essentially in, invite your friends to come to I-916 because you never know, you know, who's going to meet who and what friendships are going to develop and, you know, what relationships might develop out of it. Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, that's great, but how are they going to know that we're together, babe? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll tell them. I was like, yeah, cool. So, at so the end I, told of that, I told them too. I told him at the end about how, you know, I was happy to have met him and I met other people and it was great. Everybody should come out. And I'm like, you can tell your part, John. <laughs> yeah, so I started off with like a, you know, I was invited, you should invite your friends, and then she she spoke. And mm -hmm. then from there, I took the back again. control of the microphone and started talking about, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. And the look on her face said, stop <laughs> talking. I'm embarrassed. This is awkward. Stop talking. Oh, but he forgot to say, when I was talking, he had moved the podium. And I was like, why is he moving the podium? But okay. Yeah, there's something. Still something. no idea. I kind of was like, huh. And a then, polar bear could sneak up. No, on but then you start talking a lot, and then I was just like, oh, wait. <laughs> it was like. I'm pretty sure the crowd got it before you. No, did. I think I started. No, All I, the girls in the crowd were like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, and when they did that, I was just like, ooh. Okay. That, that's when you finally caught up. <laughs> and then my brother in law was there, which I was Still like. Still didn't give you. I'm a like, wait, why are you here? <laughs> He's like, I like meatloaf. I was just like, okay, cool. He, he hey. played it off very well. And he starts recording what we're emceeing at the end. And that's when I'm starting to understand. Like, he's recording, my sister's recording, John moved the podium. I'm like, something will be happening here. And then I just like start freezing, and John's still talking. <laughs> still talking. Stop, still talking, and talking, and talking. It was so sweet. She just kind of stared at me. It was me. very sweet, the things we were saying. Like, he was talking a little bit about, you know, that's stuff. a lot of words. He did. And you went from shut your mouth and stop talking, the look on your face, to oh snap, this is happening. It was just like. <laughs> I got just like all shy. <laughs> yep. So then, of course, now I'm holding a microphone and I get down on one knee and I had to like sh sh present the ring one handed. You were nervous. Practice. Of course, I was nervous. <laughs> so I forgot half of what I was going to say. Luckily for you, because for you it was still twice as long as it should have been. But anyhow, so. Uh, Super sweet. So, like. She did. She did respond with yes, but like so quietly that only the two of us could hear it. And I, I, I needed all the witnesses to hear it. So I'm like, I need you to say it to the microphone. <laughs> and I'm like, yes. And I'm like looking at him, and I'm looking at the ring, and he's like, put it on my hand, and I'm like, and it was trying to put it on her hand. Yeah, it got wasn't stuck. Fitting, right. <laughs> and this is the first, literally the first time I'd ever tried to like put it on her knuckle, and it 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 hung up a little hey, bit. Little and I was like, like right here. <laughs> but I just like shove it on. This is very awkward. So we both just like stop. I'm like looking so at the like, ring, trying to make it not fall off. Yeah, I yeah. have the microphone in my hand, but then I'm just, I'm like in shock at this point. Right, she doesn't remember anything that happened. I don't, and then and I'm then like Pete bailed us out. He, he like comes up. up and gives us the mic, or I give him the mic. Right, and he started talking about like other announcements and stuff. <laughs> He's like, you know what, this just never mind. Nobody's like, I'm listening nobody's listening. paying attention anyway. <laughs> We're just gonna pray. So after the camera, I'm like, I give him a super big hug because I finally, I forgot. I, I did. I, I felt bad. Thanks, girl. I'm sorry, babe. In front of everybody. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't even hug me in front. No, of it was. I like was a little high five. I was shocked, but then I did, and then we went out and talked Pretty about shocked. stuff, and it was a great so night. Shocked. Yes, we went out, and the, the only thing she said for the next 15 minutes was, "I'm so shocked." I was very shocked. I'm so shocked. I was like. And I was showing her details about what her just ring, happened? She's like, I'm so shocked. And then I'm just like, thank you. And was so, my cheeks started hurting. Yep. And I was so excited. And I was like, I went to go to my parents that night. Yep. So your they mom were... had hit me up earlier that day saying, you know, she couldn't find this audio cable for a speaker of hers. And I said, I'll just bring you one over. And she's like, well, you don't have to do that. That's, that's too much trouble. He already knows it was going to come over. <laughs> and I was like, no, I want to have a plan, you know, a strategy, because she's going to want to show her mama, of course. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I, I got a cable and put it in the truck and I was like, don't worry, I'm already going to be in the area, so I'll just come by and drop it off. So we left there, we called, I think we called both of your brothers mm -hmm. on the way and to Mama's house. Well, I was going to say Tiffany, but she was there. She so. was there. She, she, she was well aware. <laughs> yeah, and his mom and dad, who was, yep. who was they were watching. Yep, they so were watching nice. on the live stream. And then, um... So we headed over to your mom's house and you just walked up to your mom and shoved your hand in her face. Well, I was talking. I was trying to like play it off and she's like, what's up? How, what, hey. Hi. <laughs> what's like, going on? She looks at my hand. She's like, wow. Yep, she got all excited. <laughs> and my dad comes out. He's like, what's going on? Why is everybody here? <laughs> said it all over again. Yeah. Why, why is everybody here? I'm not asleep. <laughs> not that I blame him. So <laughs> then we had to get some photos. And, we did. Uh, we got engagement photos. That was, that was the night. That was the story. And I was super excited. John did an amazing job. Super You're sweet right. of him. It was great. Nobody can top that. Nobody can. <laughs> so anyways, the ring is super beautiful. I'm very grateful. And we got engaged April 4th. And our wedding is going to be a year later. 
Mm -hmm. So we're super excited about she that. She's remember. Yep. And it's going to be great. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more videos, be on the lookout because we have some wedding videos we want to do in the future and just more preparation discussions and all that good stuff. So you don't want to miss out. And make sure you tune in for the next one. We will both see you guys in another video. Peace out. Bye.